Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm back in a location that I've come to a number of times before, but I came here only at the times to capture the moon rising over the top of the castle that you see in the far distance. And where I am is a place called Little Island. I'm looking over onto Fota Island, and then you've got this castle or a folly called Fota Folly. And the idea and the history behind it was on Photo Island, you've got a very large stately home, and this was built as an, uh, a welcoming building for visitors to the family at the time. So the idea is that they'd come into the harbour here, they'd disembark their ship, they'd be welcomed within this beautiful ornate building, and then after that they'd go up onto the main house. But for me today, I'm not here for the moon, but I'm here to try and capture anything at all that I can kind of capture, to be honest, because you know, being restricted to the movements, again, you know, it kind of forces me to think outside the box. And I started thinking of areas that I've been to before and maybe I should come back to again. And this is one of them because it is a very, very picturesque scene. It's beautiful at different times of the year. Now, we are at the start of March right now, so spring is just starting. You can't see any real sign of that in the vegetation that's on the island. But nonetheless, it's still a beautiful location to be able to get some photographs. I have my 70 to 200 on today. I'm at 200 mil, so I'm zoomed all the way in. And what I've been doing here, when I first arrived, you might have seen there from the drone footage in the intro, there was a lot of flatness in parts of the water. So I said, you know what, I'll get the drone up and I'll see if I can get some nice footage from that. And you'd have seen that in the intro. But now um, the flatness is gone on the water and the tide is actually going out as well. So. It's probably not going to be flat again. I was hoping to try and get some flatness in the water to try and get some reflections. But nonetheless, I still think I'm going to get some nice photographs. On the west, which is behind you, I'm hoping that there's a number of gaps in the clouds. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a bit of light that will come through and light up the castle as well, because it is quite nice when the light shines in it. Right now, it's kind of dull because the sun has gone behind the clouds. But I'm looking here and I can see a gap now as well. So it will start to light up, I'd say, in a couple of moments as well. So yeah, let's go. Let's see how we get on today anyway. Let's see what type of photographs we can get from a familiar location, but a different time to photograph. While I've been waiting around there now, actually, the light has been nice. There's been some fleeting light hitting the front of the castle and lighting that up as well uh, as a foreground interest or a main interest. And what I've also done as well is I've put on my big stopper. So I've gone for a number of long exposures and just waiting and timing for a gap in the clouds to light up the castle as well. So it doesn't seem as dark then as well within the frame. But I'm actually framing that right now in a portrait orientation. And I've put the castle at the very, very top third. And then you've got the water leaning out. But that water then will become blurred because it's going to be a 30 second exposure. But I do think it's going to give some nice photographs nonetheless. There's also a bridge that's over here as well. And I've just taken a couple of long exposure shots of that as well, which is different, but it's definitely something I think that, you know, on nice light, there could be some beautiful shots to be taken. Looking at the clouds now, I do hope still that I'm going to get a nice uh, sunset. It would be nice to get some color sitting in behind the castle as well there. But yeah, I'll continue on here and take a couple of different shots in here until I wait for the light, as always, for it to happen or not. What I'm aiming to do here is two things. 
one, get a photograph of the birds when they're coming back. But secondly, this is my first time here now with the EOS R. And the first time I photographed the moon, I was using my Canon 70D. I've come back here since when I had the Canon 60, and now I've got the EOS R. So I'm interested to see what type of photograph I'll be able to get, the clarity, the sharpness. Um, it's a very, very good camera, as I would have said in a number of my episodes in the past, but I'm excited now to see what type of photograph as well it's also going to yield here for me when those crows come back like i said i should be able to get a extremely sharp um, photograph and obviously i'll be going for a fast shutter speed as well to be able to freeze those birds in the air but yeah these are the advantages i suppose that are there for coming back to a location that you know so well because not only will you know where to shoot from but you'll also know what the potential is for something different and You'll see it when the birds will come back. There's going to be a lot of them coming back over that. So I think it will be a very, very nice shot overall. Well, after waiting so long for the light, it's pretty much a bust. As you can see, there is no clouds whatsoever in this direction, but in the west, it's a full bank of clouds. So clouds stop play, unfortunately, but I still think, you know, nonetheless, I think I would have got a couple of nice shots anyway. And like I said earlier, I'm really excited to see the quality of the images now that I can get from the EOS R. Um, also as well, you know, I just twigged that it's my second week in a row now taking photographs of a castle. So last week you would have seen me in Cork Harbour taking photographs of Black Rock Castle. And now I'm here at Fota, Folly, Castle, whichever. But, you know, still good to get out with the camera. And again, even though I didn't get the greatest of uh, light and conditions, I still think that it's going to be a, a good photograph. The birds are starting to arrive there now, as I said earlier on, so I'm just going to wait around a couple more minutes anyway. Sun, I think, has set, so there's no real residual light that's remaining here, but I'm going to wait anyway just to catch some of those birds as they return home after whatever they were up to for the day. So yeah, I'm going to finish up this episode of my vlog. Thank you very much, as always, for joining me. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit that subscribe button. You'll get to see a lot of Ireland, a lot of different areas as well when we can get back out of lockdown. But in the meantime, you'll either see me go even further stir crazy or find some little hidden gems as well in the local area. So until the next time, Shlong the Fold.